Baby, can touch you or not? Are you going to beat me? The cockroach on the, your feet. Okay. Oh my god. She is. Okay, I think you do. She's very dehydrated. Oh my god. Yeah. That's where the smell is coming from. <laughs> to push all the cake out. The perpetrators of any breach of welfare is always a person. During the time where we were restricted, like there was a max capacity for the people that you could meet. Who are the five people that you choose to hang out your time with? It's a very awkward conversation if you are with friends. Like during that time, there were a lot of uh, articles about like relationships breaking up or like being unhappy living at home. There's this whole question in the mind. Who do we choose to be around with and what would make fit for a companion? And like for myself, um, it was not because of the pandemic, but the new thing that happened during that time is I realised that I have space for two cats. And so that was what I did. So what are we doing today? We're going to be going to this household with too many cats that she cannot handle. So we're going to help her to rehome some of the cats in the house. Too many? Like how many? In excess of 25. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of cats. That is a lot of cats. And uh, what do you need help with? Um, you can help me with uh, transferring the cats into okay. carriers and then they can go to my house into foster care basically. Okay, let's go. I might try this. Yeah, one. I think they this... look broken. What do you mean by broken? There's something sad. around his mouth. I don't know if that's... Can I touch you? Are you going to beat me? Can touch? Cannot. It's scared. a bit scared. Hi, are you friendly? Want me to take you? And then this guy is sick. His eyes... He's dead. He's not, right? No, he's not. He's like stone still. Hey, one of your cats is not moving. I'm going to take it with me, okay? I'm going to cremate it. Bye-bye. I'll call the cremation company to come to my house and pick up the body. Okay. It's going to be a bit of a longer afternoon, okay? Sure. We have unfortunately had to encounter a multi-cat household where the cats were not, um, they were not in the best of situation. Mm. So, I think what you've seen is a fairly representative um, slice of the cat welfare situation in Singapore. And you see the issues that can happen within the confines of the home. And by the time they breach into the public sphere, when help is sorely needed, then it is entirely possible that welfare groups might be too late or unable to provide the kind of assistance that is needed. The issue with animals and animal welfare in Singapore and maybe other parts of the world is the people. That can only be addressed by a change in legislation for legalising HDB cat ownership. Mm. The other 20% are very, very mired social issues. The human being, what is the underlying mental disorder that we need to help this person with? So you do have to do this for all the cats that yes. you saved, yes, we saved yesterday? Yeah, so they will all need to be cleaned. It's just that if I clean immediately, then they will get pretty stressed because I don't think they've had much human handling to begin with. Yeah. And you can see that, you know, sometimes, um, be, depending on where they came from, they might have small oh, wounds yes. like this, yeah. yeah. Well, in the multi-cat households that we were in, mm -hmm. this, they very rarely are in optimal condition. Mm. Because there's usually you know, insufficient resources, simple resources like just even food. Mm. So the first thing that happens for all the rescued cats is that they are treated um, with like revolution or frontline or broadline yeah. to ensure yeah. that any topical parasites are mm. gone. Mm. They are also dewormed when they come to me. If you can tell, I have a temporary barrier mm. that blocks my toilet off from the rest of the room. Mm. This gives them the ability to have one a very well ventilated space mm. and two to see the outside. This is one of the other cats that was rescued from the place. Mm. So he uh, is substantially stinkier. Mm -hmm. I think also because his fur is longer, so mm -hmm. more is trapped. So he also has some um, patches on him that I would like to slowly try to clean up. Mm -hmm. But all in time. La. The most responsible a cat owner can be is to start thinking about the commitment that you need to make before you adopt a cat. 
during the circuit breaker, there was a huge like rise in numbers in terms of people getting pets. Since everybody was working from home, they were able to actually take the time to research uh, what cat proofing meant, for example, and make their homes ready for cats. So adoption decisions suddenly had the opportunity to be made. The main reason that anybody should have a pet is for companionship. It must not be something um, like a short-term desire to gift something, for example. My shadi is really erratic, so they are my alarm clocks. Like, I know like when it's time to wake up, when it's time to feed, they will just come to me, meow into my face, and then rub to make sure that I will look at the time, and it's like, on point, they, they sort of like, um, ground me. I think the reason that people discover that certain animals, uh, cats or otherwise, are their soulmates in a certain way is because the life and personality, the, the, that intertwining is just a lot deeper than you'd think.